Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Let's talk to this guy first. Yes. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Dragon's Horn? I don't know why they call it that. Maybe because there's two of them and they look like horns? I don't know. But anyway, let's head up to the next floor, and basically every floor of the tower looks like this. Do not walk into the center there, viewers, or, well, you'll fall down to the first floor again, so that would be bad. Now, in the Game Boy Color version, the layout of the tower is slightly different, because in this version of the game, we're just constantly walking clockwise around the floors up to the next floor, and that would make sense. It's supposed to be like a spiral stairway up the tower, right? You've seen those before. But in the Game Boy Color version, when you go up a flight of stairs, you end up on the right side, then you walk counterclockwise, then clockwise and counterclockwise, alternating every other floor. So I don't know why they changed that, but... Anyway. Uh, whoa! Three, ma three baboons and the Medusa Ball? What the hell is that? Well, anyway, we gotta take these guys out. Uh, Medusa Ball does have quite a bit of HP, so let's put the, uh... You know what? Let's play it conservative, because I'm running low on MP. So let's have my other... Other two guys, uh, defend, while Gwen tries to put them to sleep! You only got one of them, Gwen? Nuts. Well, might as well, uh, try again. Ow! Come on. Oh, he's putting me to sleep. That's no good. Uh, run! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, normal heal spell ought to do. Holy cow. That is what happens when sleep spells go wrong. Uh, Medusa balls, what they do, uh, they're very susceptible to sleep as we will find out here. So let's do that and put them to sleep. I don't think they have any resistance to sleep, if I recall correctly. I don't have my bestiary uh, open here. Yeah, there you go. You see, they're very susceptible to sleep, so. But, um, well, that's, how, that's just how you deal with them. Um, why don't you just defend there? If they ever wake up, I can just put them to sleep again, like they are there. They just have, they have, uh, I don't know, 40-something HP or something like that. Nothing too much to worry about, but you do want to put them to sleep so they don't put you to sleep. Okay, there we go. And now they're both asleep. Might as well go all out. I gotta heal up one after this battle, but we'll be fine. Yeah, got him. All right. Woohoo! Another level. Excellent. Can never have enough of those. I don't think we get anything from this level besides stats. Yeah, yeah, nothing to worry about. Let's heal up there, and we should be good to go. Are we there yet? Oh, we are. There we go. Now, for this part, you need to have the Cloak of Wind equipped, because when you jump off the edge of the tower, you would normally fall right next to it. With the Cloak of Wind, it adds two spaces to the distance that you fall from, and you can cross the river like so. How are you doing there, Lodo? You know what? We better heal up. Running a little low on MP, but I think we should be fine, unless I run into three battles. Oh, by the way, on the north tower there, there's a particular item we can get there, but we shouldn't know how to get it yet, so I'm going to save that for later. Let's head over here. Come on, there's a town. Make it! Make it! Yes! They got some uh, pretty tough enemies around here, but, uh, well, I got lucky. So, let's go explore it. Whoa! I don't know what the point of that line is. Uh, maybe it means something else in the original version. I didn't see that in the translation guide, but... Eh. Oh, really? Oh, huh, so Isle of Guard is in this world. Uh, the kingdom, or the entire world in this game, is called, uh, I think, Torland? Or something like that? As it says in the box? Or whatever. House of Healing. You look a little different. In the Game Boy Color version, you can save here with that guy, but not here, not me today. Um, yeah, we're good enough on that uh, HP and MP. Well, screw you! Ah, so this is the town of Lionport. Alright. Uh, do I want to rest up here? 
Uh, let me think about that for a minute, viewers. No, no, we really don't need to uh, rest up at the end. Yet. Eventually. But not right now. We've got enough MP left over. Is this the uh, gambling casino? Or lottery? That too. No, not right now. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, you have a ship there. But we can never get it. So, that guy's a real jerk there. Oh, well. Oh, so there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, towards the end, but yeah. What's that over there? Holy crap, gremlins! We'll deal with those guys soon enough. Oh, well, that's no good. I wonder if he's a descendant of uh, Erdrich, too. But anyway, first things first, let the girl deal with the gremlins for now. Maybe they're doing something together. I don't know. Maybe they're just having a good time. But anyway, we want to buy the almighty dragon's bane at this item shop for everyone. It's kind of like the dragon scale in the last game. It's, well, it's like an accessory, so to speak. And uh, it cuts the hit percentage, or it increases your resistance to uh, stop, spell, and sleep by 50%, which is really good in this game. It's really important. Um, it does not work against sweet breath, though. So, just so you know, uh, you know, it won't help there. It only works against the spells themselves. So, and uh, we don't need the Cloak of Wind, so uh, let's just sell that. Sorry, you gotta lose the big ass, or the badass Cloak there, Orphea. No, no, I think we're good to go. Let's check out the equipment shop here while we're at it. Just take a look at what they got. Uh, let's see. Wizard's Wand, you can use that as an item to cast Fireball, but it's like 10 damage or something ridiculously low like that. It is totally not worth it. Uh, Close Hiding is worth it. Uh, it's a good, up decent upgrade for the Prince of Kanak. It's an even better upgrade for uh, the Princess there. It's like 20 defense for her. It's pretty darn good. So... You could use it, or I, you could buy that for her. I think the Dragon's Bane is more important because of the enemies I'm going to be fighting soon. Uh, in the Game Boy Color version, it is really good. It, they really boosted its defense a lot. It's even better than the full plate armor. Hey, how's it going? Help! Help! The gremlins are coming! It's after midnight! Okay, it's our first, well, not really boss battle, but sort of. These guys will kill you if you are not careful. So, let's try putting them to sleep. They get a little resistance to sleep, but it's not obscene. So, it's a good idea to use that. Yes, I got them both to sleep. So, we're in pretty good shape there. Okay, so let's take the other guy out. Uh, these guys can, uh, well, cast sleep themselves. They can breathe flames on your entire party. It's ridiculous. I think they can heal themselves, too. So, but... I got pretty lucky with the uh, sleep spell there, so... Hooray! What is this, Final Fantasy X? No, nah, no. Nah. But we saved her from the gremlins. Yeah, they weren't so hard after all. Hey, hey, all right, we got a ship! Now we can explore the world! This is the part of the game where the game really opens up. It is huge! The world, I've heard, is like four times larger than it was in the last game. So, yeah, we've got a lot of explore, the, a lot to explore. The game really becomes non-linear at this point, so. Oh, okay, I'll keep an eye out for it. We could go get that now, but I'll wait until the game tells us where it is. That's pretty much how I'm going to handle most of this stuff in this game. Okay, so we've got a whole world to explore. Where should we go first? Well, they were talking about Alephgard, so let's go check that out. Let's head on up here. Uh, yeah, this looks like a good spot. Yeah, I like how they bring back the Dragon Warrior 1 music when you're in Alephgard. Nice touch. It's not quite as big as it was in the last game, but still. Oh, well, I made it in one, sh in one straight shot. Oh, there we go. Now let's take a look around. This guy, just like in the last game, um... Yeah, let's uh, heal everyone up. I should have rested at the inn uh, back there, but, well, I didn't. So, there we are. But, yeah, this guy, just like he did in the last game, he will restore your MP for free! So let's do that. See, MP all restored there. This guy is your house of healing, I think. 
Nah, I, I don't need any help today. Okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to talk to him, but, uh, yeah, this is the guy who, uh, well, you can save your game. No, no, not right now. Ooh, I almost hit the B button again. Ha! <laughs> that would have been bad. Well, let's see, uh, where that king is. Oh, well, that was just, uh, a, a dream. Pay no attention to it. Oh, well, yeah, we could take credit for it, too. Oh! Well, there we go. I guess we all are descendants of Gwaylin. When I was, I was just uh, jacking you guys around when I said, uh, "What if we aren't all descendants of Gwaylin too?" But we are. So, boy, what a cowardly king! I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do. I do. I do. I do believe in spooks. Uh, yeah. Some guy was talking about it. To the north, huh? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, we already talked to him, so. How's it going? Oh, yeah, we kind of knew that, but thanks for sharing. See this guy? Oh, yeah, Breconary and Tantagal are one now, by the way. Just so you know, they became one town. And this is the guy from the first, well, maybe it's not him, but maybe his descendants. I mean, it is a hundred years, but one hundred years. Let's see, down here we got the uh, item shop. Not really worried about that. So you got a golden door there, but nothing we can do with that. And, well, there's the king, but we can't talk to him yet. Let's see what they got at the equipment shop here. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see, we got the giant hammer for the hero, but I wouldn't buy that because we're going to find something better in the near future. Uh, maybe in the Game Boy Color version, but eh, probably not. I do want to get two sets of clothes hiding, one for the Prince of Kanak, one for the uh, Princess. I would not get the Iron Helmet because it's the same as the Steel Shield it, as far as your boost in defense, and it's way too expensive. So I wouldn't worry about that. Let's just go get two sets of clothes hiding, and uh, let's see. I will... What do I want to do? Let's do some gold farming. Sounds like a plan. Now... Oh, well, the place I recommended I need to sail to get to, so, uh, let's see, uh, in order to, um, get the ship over here, let's cast Return! There we go. Yeah, whenever you talk to the guy who you can save with, you cast Return, the ship will automatically warp to where you are, so you don't get stranded there. There's Charlock Castle, we'll be going there soon. Let's sail on down here. I recommend gold farming down here because you can't run into those freaking mudmen! And we got magic baboons! Holy crap! Oh, but they didn't see us. Okay. Well, they can, uh, they can summon other magic baboons to, uh, take you out. So you gotta watch out for those guys. Uh, yeah, we should be fine. But, yeah, uh, you could use sleep on them, surround, that could be a good way to go. Let's see, there's probably one other enemy I really want to show off here. Whoa, holy crap, Demi Ghost! They are, well, maybe not the first enemy, but they will kill you with a critical hit if you are not careful. Chances are, while you're gold farming, they will kill someone. They will get a critical hit, and there's nothing you can do about it. But you can put them to sleep! So that way, they can't uh, kill you. So, okay, I got lucky there, but... Uh, yeah, you really, really, really have to watch out for the demi -ghosts. Put them to sleep, and you should be good. So, now I'm going to take care of the gold farming, and then we'll go find some sunken treasure. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Oh, and we learned outside. All right.